ladies and gentlemen, second night of the weekend. Got both cars all ready to roll. Welcome back to today's show. We've got the beautiful 18T here behind me. This thing is fresh off its first win of 2023. We picked that up last night at Cottage Grove, uh, night number one of the spring fling. And now we're going into the finale and hoping to sweep the weekend. And I know we can definitely do that. We just have to unload with the speed that we had yesterday. With all that, the track looks like a 180 from where it was 24 hours ago. Go. It's more fluffed up, it's got some more water on it, and I predict it's gonna be more hammered down here to start. But uh, gonna be going out late for qualifying. That will be up next, and we're gonna kinda just be getting our night started here soon. Just wrapped up qualifying. Not sure where we are at. The dilemma today in our area is there was a huge crash on the interstate, knocked out a big power plant. So they've been struggling to have power here at the Speedway. I think they just hand timed qualifying. So we don't know where we're at. There's no live timing, but uh, race car felt good. Went out for hot laps, tracks much faster today like we predicted. You know, felt okay. Uh, seemed like I lacked a little bit of grip and the, the racetrack had, had speed. So that's like not necessarily a good sign. Uh, uh, but we made a few changes. I mean, we weren't far off from what I felt. Uh, made a couple of changes and felt much better there on our two time trial laps. So I guess we'll kind of just see where we end up and keep tweaking on the 18T from there. That's our goal tonight is just to continue making it better and, uh, you know, try to, you know, like I said, we'll take where we qualify and move forward here to a heat race with an invert. Well, we just got the uh, qualifying results. Ended up fourth quick tonight out of, I believe, 19 or 18 360s. Uh, so not a bad start. We were just this close to you know, being right there in the top three. So now we have a six car invert. Um, and with us qualifying fourth in three heats, we are gonna start fifth in heat race number one. And we have to run in the top four to get our time back. The racetrack, I see, I think it's gonna be difficult to pass here in this upcoming eight laps. And starting on the inside is probably not gonna be preferred. So I think it could turn into a freight chain kind of around the top through the middle. So we need to kind of get in our lane and uh, try to see any openings that could come in the first couple of laps before we all single file out because we, we must uh, move forward here to get our time back. But gonna strap in, maybe make one little change. Happy with my car though and where it was in qualifying. I think that um, it's definitely good enough to pass cars and move forward here. making some changes now we locked into tonight's dash uh, ended up going forward started fifth and finished third made a couple of adjustments I felt like our car was better it's just the track is still kind of fast but it's slowing down it's just a lot of momentum um, and, and I feel like you just it's, it's still but it's still quick it hasn't slowed down and had grip lanes like I said it's kind of just wherever's clean so uh, made my car better I feel bad 
I just totally screwed Carly. I made a mistake on her car and she just had nothing in her heat race. So um, we're gonna try to make her stuff better, you work on my stuff, dash and my dash is up now. Retire after the heat. You can see that's, that kind of explains what I'm talking about. You can still run the car hard. All this is blistering. It just chunked out all these blocks from so much wheel spin. Um, yeah, that, that's just kind of the surface we're dealing with right now. Still a good tire with a lot of rubber, but you can't you can't run that once that starts to happen. similar but I think it's a little bit slicker in one and two three and four though I think is gonna be pretty fast throughout the duration of the race just trying to get our car perfect making small adjustments we were good in the dash but we definitely can be better so that's kind of what we are uh, trying to achieve they did work it a little bit after the dash so it's more gripped up than that but it's just really really rough so got to uh, watch out for the rough stuff try to find a smooth way around and um, you know get through lap traffic I think that's gonna be the name of the game so good start get out front control the race get through traffic. disappointing end to our 
weekend. The only thing I'll say is my car is sitting here in one piece and it, it could have been a lot worse, but I don't know. I just feel like I kind of let my team down, got to the early lead, got a good start, was running okay, felt okay, just was trying to click off some laps and I figured the track was going to kind of start changing and then maybe lap three or four, entered turn three and four where there's kind of been a hole all night and I was trying to just open up my corner and I hit it wrong and I freaking bounced and I like launched like a pogo stick up. I think I hit the ground again and I hit so hard on the second or third bounce that it actually, the Heim broke on the right rear arm and a huge piece of mud. The biggest piece of mud I've ever seen got lodged in here, folded part of the ladder and then broke off that Heim that connects to the bird cage. And it's one of those things we maybe could have fixed it if we were 100% prepared in the hot pit, but like, I don't know if you really even want to go back out there. That's like um, shooting yourself in the foot and then reloading the gun and shooting yourself again. So. If I could do it all over again, I probably would have just ran lower on the track, maybe, and um, and then maybe also charged the corner a little bit harder. You know, with the fuel load, you got to be careful. You get so tight. So I entered in, and I tried to settle the car down a little bit to go through the hole and open up the corner and kind of start making my way down the track and shooting off like I did a couple laps before, and I pretty much just about crashed. So I mean, yeah, luckily I didn't crash, and like I said, it broke that arm. So very, very disappointing just that our aiming event came to an end, you know, uh, so quick. Here's the here's the Heim that broke on that right rear. It uh, it had a lot of pressure put on it in the moment that we went airborne. So, so I just wanted to stop real quick and clarify that after we further looked into this issue, we realized that we did not have the proper Heim in that right rear corner, and that's why it snapped. Totally by accident, our fault and I'll talk about it more in the next video. I don't know, it really sucks. Like I said, at, at least this is the only thing I'm holding that's broken when we could have you know, a complete catastrophe, but man, just uh, super, super disappointing. Did you take a picture of the dirt one? Yeah, the, I, I should show here. <laughs> this big, I mean, what the <laughs> Sorry. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat as him. So as I sit here and kind of reflect on our weekend, uh, just an unfortunate way to end it all. You know, I mean, literally we led every lap of A-Main event competition that we were in. And yes, we had redraws on our side. You know, it was nice starting up front um, for both A-Mains. But man, we put ourselves in a great spot. We qualified, we got through our heats. You know, we obviously got good pills and then started up front, got good starts, was able to control the race. And then they're just like, I don't know. I need to watch the footage back. I don't know if I needed to charge it harder. I don't know if I just hit it. I mean, I definitely hit it wrong, but you know, like if I needed to get higher, if I needed to get lower, I was just, uh, I don't know. I just found myself in a bad spot, hit it and you know, took flight. So it just, it really sucks. Uh, but you do live and you learn. It would have been interesting to see how that 30 lapper would have went. The racetrack did kind of get slick by the end of it with the cars that were still left. And I think we might have been a little on the conservative side being loose because, you know, we wanted to be free uh, in the holes. But once the track kind of did harden up throughout, you know, the duration of the A, it did kind of start to lose grip. And I kind of wonder how we would have been out front um, if we would have been able to hold on or, you know, maybe if some other guys were just differently prepared, like maybe they were going to be way tighter early and then, you know, kind of come to life more at the end but it's dirt racing and we will never know because we were sitting here in the pits but more importantly our cars in one piece because with our situation it easily could not have been so i uh, want to give a big shout out to shane dewald trucking rtr diesel performance pit stop usa earth it environmental canopy country fast four media next gen def carson lafarge abc powder coating venendal trucking landon transport full send racing and d-ray designs i got amazing partners they help make it happen I also have an amazing crew and family and all you supporters here on the YouTube channel. Glad we all got our first win uh, of the sprint car season this weekend. Sucks how it ended, but everything's in the box. We'll head back home to Southern Oregon, regroup, and be better for next time. Deuces.